Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to my grab bag. This time we've got something really special, ladies and gentlemen, and I am extremely excited for it. We have none other than the Carnivore Club. As the name suggests, the Carnivore Club is a monthly box that ships you some cured meats. I'm extremely hungry right now, I'm not even kidding. I have been looking forward to doing this box uh, since I got it yesterday. I can't wait. So let's get some info out of the way. They sent me this box. Um, they did not give me a referral link or anything like that, so this is going to be pretty much a review video. This is their description on their website. Carnivore Club is the world's first curated Cured Meat of the Month Club featuring artisans from around the world. Each month, our members receive an impressive faux wood box filled with four to six handcrafted cured meats from top artisans. Like wine, the laborious craft of cured meats is an art form that requires the diligent pursuit of perfection through endless hours of trial and error. So based on their website's info, it costs $50 a month. Uh, you have to sign up for a three-month minimum, it sounds like, but after that, you can cancel any time. I will put the link to their website in the description below if you guys would like to get some meats for yourself. All right, so this box has not been opened yet. You can see this is the faux wood box that they're referring to, and on the back, it's got a little description here. Uh, Welcome to the Carnivore Club. We are glad to have you as one of our own. The contents of this box have been handpicked by our curators and meet the strict standards of a discerning individual like yourself. We are confident that this month's special selection of quality meats from purveyors around the world will satisfy your inner carnivore. Well, it's a bit hard to open on camera for the first time, but I should be able to do it. Let's get a little leeway here so close so close to meaty goodness okay and there we have it and something just fell out oh my 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 all right first things first we obviously have a little insert here uh, it says this month's meat it's got some info on the back it's got some info in the middle which i'm gonna only flash for a second not gonna read this just now because i want to be surprised all right so we've got four things here to go through this is the bottom of the box very nice the first thing that I'm going to pull is one of these here sausage thing majiggers. Let's see what we have. We have Angel's Salumi and Truffles Salami Uncured Toscano Salami made with Berkshire pork meat, divinely made in Los Angeles. And so that is what that looks like yes focus camera look at that beautiful focusing all right let's try to class this up a bit got a plate got a knife i'm gonna cut off a little tiny piece of this sausage i'm gonna try and like save it better than last time so i can you know keep this stuff without like ruining it too much so boom that is some uncured toscano salami look at that Okay, it tastes really good. It's very similar to a normal salami taste, but you can tell this is not like normal salami that you get at the deli or something like that. It's very salty, obviously. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's very like, I mean, it, seriously, it's, it's exactly like normal salami, but it's more flavorful. Um, not necessarily in a good way. Now, I like it. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying it's a, there's a different taste there. It, for those of you that like salami, you might not like this. I like it. It's good, but it's definitely different. All right, let's read the description. A classical version of a traditional Italian salami, the Toscano has a familiar hearty flavor. Created with Berkshire pork, black peppercorn, white wine, and fresh garlic, it will make you think of home-cooked Italian food and good company. Very good. Let's just grab another random one. We have here, whatever this is, I have not looked at it. We'll uh, focus it in a second. This is, again, Angel Salumi and Truffles. Now, look, look, look at that. Look at the top there. Does that not say Salumi? I'm thinking that says Salumi. This one's Salami again, obviously. I think they're all going to be Salami. Rosette Uncured Salami made with Berkshire Pork Meat. All right, this one is the Rosette Cut Salami or the Rosette Salami. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll find out after I try it. Okay, this one's already my favorite, I can tell. There's one more remaining and another meat product. This is going to be my favorite. This is really, really, really flavorful salami. The last one, I don't really know. Hardy is a good way, like they described it. I, there's a different word. I just can't place it. I, I really can't. Like, I tried thinking for a while. This one is brighter. This one is more flavorful. This one is like a traditional salami taste. Man, it's really good. There's something in there. I, I hope it goes over it in this little booklet. There's something in there that tastes so good and savory and i can't 
again, I can't place it. I mean, hopefully doing these GD's grab bags will increase my, you know, better my palate and I can come up with better words. It's so good and I don't know what it is. Let's find out, shall we? French rosette. Angel's Salumi, yep, it even says Salumi in the booklet, makes a fabulous all-natural traditional, all natural traditional French rosette. This is a classic French rosette de Lyon with a sweet cascade of flavor, including clove, nutmeg, garlic, and white wine. It's probably the clove. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something like a, a spice like that. The rosette pairs perfectly with a red wine or white burgundy plus some freshly baked baguette. It's going to be my favorite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the last one is going to be uncured salami nostrano. No clue what that means. Same thing made with Berkshire pork meat made in Los Angeles, um, angel salumi, and truffles. Let's try it out. All right, there's what this one looks like. Pretty similar to the last one. I've been cutting off the ends, as you can see here. Don't know what this one's going to taste like. Should probably be smelling these first. Ah, it smells like salami. Okay, this one's weird. This one's weird. It's got like a chocolatey taste to it. I, it tastes like salami, but it tastes like a dark chocolate. It's got like a dark chocolatey taste in it. I like it. I like salami. Salami's like my favorite type of deli meat. I know it's horrendous for you, but... I like it. It's just, it's, it's very weird. It, the chocolate taste is very prominent. Uh, let's see what it is. Nostrano, evoking the flavor of Northern Italy with coarsely ground Berkshire pork, black peppercorn, and red wine. This Nostrano salami has a mild peppery taste, perfect with melon and figs. Peppery taste. I guess that's true, but man, it, it just really tastes like it's it's got a chocolatey flavor to it. I know it's weird for salami, and that's what it tastes like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've saved the best for last. This is what I thought to be bacon, but no, no, no. As you can tell, this is pre-sliced, dry-cured duck breast. Slow-cured and dried, artisanal production, same thing, made by the same company, Angels, Salumi, and Truffles, and duck breast. So these are apparently pre-cured and ready to eat. Now, I've never had duck before. I know they're really fatty, and you can see all the fat hanging off of that. I do not like the taste of fat at all. Uh, I'm a steak surgeon. I will cut that thing to bits uh, until there's only meat remaining. I hate the taste of fat, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like this, but it looks really interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's extremely fatty, extremely fatty. I, I know that's the whole point of duck, though. I know duck confit is like duck cooked in its own fat. Um, I know duck fat is used in a lot a lot for different things i i can't i can't even eat this like honestly i can't stand that taste of fat and it is so prevalent with this uh however i'm gonna try eating one more with the fat like stripped off of it okay so as you can see the fat just sort of oh man <coughs> oh that's peppery as hell okay the fat just sort of strips right off and i know this is probably the part everybody actually likes i know this is i know duck enthusiasts probably really like this part however this is the part i'm interested in okay that actually still tastes really fatty oh my god duck is really fatty that's this is the first time i've ever had duck um i've always heard about that it's i want to like it man i'm like really close to liking it but that fat taste is so, 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 so prevalent, even with all the fat stripped off. I don't know. It's not for me. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Just four products, three big salamis, and uh, that little package of duck there. I'm not sure how much all of those products are by themselves. I can absolutely guarantee, though, that if you bought them separately, you would probably be spending quite a bit of money. Uh, they're in fancy packaging. They taste really good. They just feel artisanal. They feel like they are expensive. Based on this package, is that worth the $50 price point? I have to say, objectively, no. I can't imagine myself paying $50 for three things of salami and a small package of duck i mean they're not even you know the salamis are big so all three of them are around this size um and that's you know it's a decent size but for fifty dollars for three sausages and a, and a pack of duck I, I i don't know it just it just doesn't feel right now that being said i really enjoyed the products that's it's interesting to try new things it's interesting to try the duck i love trying new things i'm not scared of trying new things duck is definitely not for me and i'm glad i found that out now before i before i ordered some uh duck dinner at, at some fancy restaurant the sausages were all really 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 good though it's hard to go wrong with me and sausage ha 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 but they were flavorful they were really good uh, honestly probably the best sausage that i've ever had in my life uh, especially the one that i liked the most which was i believe the rosette so really good products really interesting products worth the price 
I don't think so. They say four to six items each month. Looks like we got the four. Uh, I feel like they should shoot for six. If it was six each month, then maybe that $50 price point would be worth it. Either way, that's it for the Carnivore Club, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get your own Carnivore Club box, the link will be in the description below. Remember, this was just a... Uh, uh, an objective review. Uh, they're just, they just sent me this box for free. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next GV's Grab Bag. Bye-bye.